look back on times we had I hope you smile And know that through the good and through the bad I was on your side When nobody could hold us down We claimed the brightest star And we, we came so far And no Everybody can be seated. Good evening. My name is Jennifer Corner. I'm the director of the ASN and the practical nursing program here at STC. We would like to welcome you to tonight's pinning ceremony. A pinning ceremony is a tradition in which we welcome new nurses into the profession. On behalf of the administration, the nursing faculty, and everyone here at STC, I would like to say congratulations. Your time, effort, and hard work has finally paid off. I encourage you to build on what you have already accomplished and to continue to do your best as you go out into the world of nursing. I would like to offer you a few words of wisdom as you begin this new journey. One, always be eager to learn. The nursing field is ever changing. Strengthen and broaden your practice by continuing your education. Two, stay positive. Be attentive to your patients. Listen to them. Be their advocates. Show them that you care. Three, do your job with diligence. It's someone's life in your hands. Take pride in how far you've come and never forget you are a Southeastern Technical College nursing student. Congratulations. Before we begin, um, if y'all will bow your heads and um, let's say a word in prayer. Dear Lord, we just come to you in the name of Jesus. Lord, I just um, I ask um, that you bless these students. Lord, I thank you for um, the instructors that were able to educate them in this past year. Lord, I thank you um, for the students and all the effort that they have put into reaching their goal. I thank you for the families that have supported them. Um, and sacrificed also. Lord, I, again, I ask that you bless each and every one of them as they go forth. Um, Lord, I pray that um, you just implant in their, in their heart, Lord, why they chose to become a nurse, why they wanted to be a nurse, and that they hold true to that. Um, and Lord, I just pray you lead and guide them, and you um, make their path straight. And I ask this in Jesus' holy name. Amen. I would like to introduce to you our guest speaker, Dr. Chelsea Tien. Uh, she is a practicing pediatrician in Vidalia, Georgia. Dr. Tien graduated from Florida State University College of Medicine in 2009. She completed her residency at Tampa General Hospital where she specialized in pediatric care. Dr. Tien moved to Vidalia two years ago with her husband and two beautiful daughters. She currently practices at Vidalia Children's Center and has spent many hours with our students, mentoring them and teaching them. And we are very thankful that Dr. Tien is here tonight to speak to our graduate nurses. Good evening and congratulations, nurses. Firstly, let me say how honored I am to be asked to speak tonight. I appreciate greatly the opportunity. 
Next, I would like to recognize and honor the families here tonight. Of course, with any course of study, it takes a lot of sacrifice, countless hours and time away from our families. So congratulations is extended to your families as well. The sacrifice that they've made is crucial for your success. When it was requested that I speak, I became more interested in the ceremony of pinning and its origins. After some research, I discovered that it dates back to the 12th century, where nurses were giving pins for caring for wounded soldiers at war. Florence Nightingale, the most famous nurse, was given a pin for her work with soldiers in 1860 in Crimea. This ceremony is steeped in tradition, just as the profession of nursing is. I have many friends and family who are nurses, and so I asked them what made them feel most like a nurse. Most of them reported to me they felt most like a nurse when every family member and friend they ever had called them with all of their aches and pains and asked them for an immediate diagnosis and treatment plan. Some of them also told me they felt most like a nurse when they began checking all of their friends and family for good pulses and great veins. <clears throat> Although these are important hallmarks of a nurse, there are some others that I feel are equally as important. Knowledge. There are so many things to know, and your training thus far has only scratched the surface. You have been given the foundation to become a great nurse, and nothing can be great without a great foundation. But being a great nurse takes learning every day, learning from others, from yourself, and from your patients. It takes understanding and being confident in what you know and recognizing what you don't. It takes knowing where to get the information you need and when to rely upon yourself and your skills in stressful times. It takes the understanding of when you have it under control, but more importantly, the knowledge of when you don't and how to ask for help. Be confident, but not arrogant. Be aware of your strengths, but also of your weaknesses. Know your worth and recognize that worth in others. Knowledge is power, and that is nowhere more important than in the medical field. You will have the power to shape the care and the lives of your patients. The knowledge of what is normal so that you can recognize abnormal. The knowledge of what is broken so that it can be fixed. You are often the first person in the medical knowledge, with medical knowledge to see a patient. Is he or she in distress? Do they need immediate attention? This will be something that it will be up to you to recognize and decide. The next is caring. A big heart is critical to being a good nurse. I know it seems obvious, but stop and consider for a moment that you will be caring for people. Take that in. You will be caring for someone's mother, their father, their sister, brother, or child. You will be caring for them at their most vulnerable time, when they are sick, when they cannot care for themselves. Nursing is not just a job or even a profession. It is a true calling a calling to be the person that others turn to in their hour of need. It is a, excuse me, the, uh, the person in times of stress. Uh, you will be expected to have a skill level that only you may have. A skill set that is important that nurses cultivate every single day. When you care for a patient, remember to do so with professionalism and respect. Remember to listen as much as you speak. Remember to open your heart to them without judgment. And listen with that heart as well as with your ears. Sometimes what are they, they are telling you is written between the lines. And that information may be the exact piece needed to make the difference in their care. Remember that in caring for these patients, they may not be like you, but they are all your family because they are someone's family. Their choice may not be your choices, their ideas and feelings not yours, but they deserve your attention because they are humans and they are in need of help. The next is advocacy. With your pin today comes responsibility. Responsibility to be an advocate for your patients. Using your knowledge and understanding of the body in combination with the resources available to you to help advocate for the very best interest of your patient. To make sure they understand what is happening to them. To make sure they receive what they need to the best of your ability. To be sure they receive the care you hoped your loved ones would receive. Every patient, every time, every day. 
and teamwork. This one may be the hardest, but most important in being a nurse. Medicine is a team sport. You are part of a team and your role is crucial. Remember that your role is not more or less important than anyone else's on that team. Your skill set is different, but no less critical. You offer a different perspective with your training as the background of that perspective. You will be called to work together with others with different training backgrounds, all in the care and treatment of your patient. Sometimes that will go smoothly, and sometimes it will not. Teamwork often takes all of the previously discussed traits with a healthy dose of patience on your part. It takes remembering and asserting what you know while understanding that there are some things you don't. It takes caring for your patient as well as your fellow teammates. It takes advocating for the patient and their best treatment. It means showing up even when you don't want to, and we've all been there, sometimes we don't want to. It means making sacrifices of your time and of your comfort. It means no one leaves until the work is done. This is a new chapter in your story, a new chance for you to make a true impact on others. It is your chance to go out and show the world what you can do. It is your chance to be remembered as that fantastic nurse who was part of that wonderful team who saved their lives. This chapter is blank and just waiting for you to write it. This is, after all, the beginning of anything you want. Thanks. Rebecca Hope Anderson. Aaron Brown. Morgan Clifton. Melanie Davis. I'm so sorry. It's Michelle Davis, and I know her name. <laughs> Somebody had to make a mistake tonight, so. Brittany Angelica Garcia. Melanie Hosmer. Emily Hitchcock Plant. Nicole Powell. Audrey Marie Tharp. Anne Woolley.
It takes a special type of person to choose a career dedicated to serving others in need. These ladies before you will pledge themselves to the sacred work they have chosen in a candle lighting rep, um, ritual referencing back to Florence Nightingale. Nurse Nightingale, the founder of modern nursing, started this tradition over 150 years ago. During the crime meme war, Nightingale was often seen working late into the night carrying a lamp to visit the bedside of sick and wounded soldiers. This earned her the nickname, Lady with a Lamp. The lamp is a symbol of care and comfort, which light crosses all social boundaries. Lighting the candles represents the passing of these qualities between nurses. Florence also represented Florence also presented her graduating nurses with a medal that was meant to encourage them to faithfully serve the injured, sick, and dying in challenging situations. She called this their badge of honor. Over the years, this medal evolved into a pin, which these ladies are proudly wearing upon their chest tonight. The Nightingale Pledge is a modified version of the Hippocratic Oath composed in 1893 and named in honor of Florence Nightingale. The pledge reflects the student's commitment to moral and ethical values and principles of their nursing profession. And now we're going to recite the Florence Nightingale Pledge, if you'll repeat after me. I solemnly pledge myself before God. I solemnly pledge myself before God. And in the presence of this assembly. And in the presence of this assembly. To pass my life in purity. To pass my life in purity. And to practice my profession faithfully. I will abstain from whatever is deleterious and mischievous. I will abstain from whatever is deleterious and mischievous. And will not take or knowingly administer any harmful drug. And will not take or knowingly administer any harmful drugs. I will do all in my power to maintain. I will do all in my power to maintain. And elevate the standard of my profession. And will hold in confidence all personal matters. And will hold in confidence all personal matters. Committed to my keeping. Committed to my keeping. And family affairs coming to my knowledge. Family affairs coming to my knowledge. In the practice of my calling. In the practice of my calling. 
With loyalty will I endeavor to aid the physician in his work and devote myself to the welfare of those committed to my care. I want to like hoop and holler, y'all made it. <laughs> yeah. You get to know these students on a whole nother level, and they spend so much time with each other. So it has been my privilege, privilege, excuse me, um, to be a nursing instructor to this fine group of young women. They have worked so hard to get to this point. They have spent countless hours studying, reading, listening, even when they didn't want to. Um, when I'm sure they would have much rather been spending time with their families. Um, but they held the course and they succeeded in their goal. So I'm proud, so proud of each um, and every one of you. And now I present to you Southeastern Technical College's 2017 Practical Nursing graduates. Congratulations. <laughs> This feeling inside my bones It goes electric wavy when I turn it on Off from my city, off from my home We're flying up no ceiling when we in our zone I got that sunshine in my pocket Got that good soul in my feet I feel that hot blood in my body When it drops, ooh I can't take my eyes off of it Moving so phenomenally more like the way we rock it, so don't stop. And under the lights, when everything goes, nowhere to hide when I'm getting you close. When we move, well, you already know. So just imagine. 